Oh, dang. Look at that house. It's like a container house. That's kind of cool. Wonder who owns that. Last time I checked, I think I do. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, uh, Austin, what, where the heck are you? What the heck's going on? Well, a bunch of stuff has changed, uh, one of which I, I got a new truck. But uh, besides that point, we're out here with a uh, brand new business, brand new lawn care business. So recently, over the past uh, few months and weeks here, I've uh, moved and gotten a bunch of equipment, which we'll take a look here in a second. You guys probably see a little bit of it in there, but we'll take a look at that in a second here. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys the property here real quick. We may go out and uh, do a job or two today, but we do have to go and pick up new lawnmowers, which we'll go do in a little bit here. But I'm going to show you guys some of this first here. So all this property back here we have access to. Oh, you guys can see a truck already there. Also, YouTube says that over 75% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing so we can meet Jake, aka the formal pickle to 100k. But we have all access to all this property back here. So we want to do some extra stuff, which I plan on doing. We will be doing a bunch of stuff back here. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the house real quick here. So we just walk on up here, up their fancy new staircase. And the, the door, yeah, the door, got to fix the door. It's a, it's a little bit weird. Anyway, we've got the very nice house here. Nothing too crazy. Go in here. You got the setup. You got the three monitor setup. So you're good to go on that. You got the TV and you got the bathroom. All that good stuff. Everything you're ever going to need in here. Anyway, that's good enough for a house tour. May as well go to the garage and check everything else out there. But yeah, this is kind of our yard here. We got a few neighbors around here. And I plan to put some sort of a pond in here, which I'd really love to do at some point. So we're planning on doing that here pretty soon. Probably by uh, next episode, that'll be in there. I still need to get an excavator, though. Anyway, this is the shop. Just built it. You can see it's pretty much brand new here. In fact, we've actually got a bit of a loft here that's pretty much still kind of unfinished. We plan to do something up here eventually. But I found one of these. This is a John Deere Gator, the older style. They're not easy to come by, at least in this good condition where I'm at right now. They're not easy to come by, but we happen to find one. We got a sprayer bed for it as well, and we've got the regular work bed. And then we've got our array of skid steer attachments, which I actually have to go pick up more that I bought in an auction last week. So I don't know if we're going to do that today, but eventually here we got to do that. Then we've got a portable pressure washer for any pressure washing we might want to do around here. And then we got a Kubota SLV 992. Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. And then this, um, I can't explain this except for the fact that I, I have a pulling tractor. So, so if we ever want to go into any pulling tractor events, um, we have the ability to do so. And then we hop on out here. I'll show you guys the truck here in a second. But uh, we got two trailers, PJ, another PJ here, just work trailers. And then we got the cab over and, well, this other flatbed here. We plan to get some bigger equipment here very soon. So that's going to change. And then we've got the second gen. 3500 all decked out here nothing crazy just more of a work truck than anything but we're gonna hook onto the small tractor tractor i mean i mean trailer trailer we're gonna hook onto the small trailer and we're gonna go grab those new lawn mowers well new to us anyway they're pretty much new but they're slightly used all right there we go we're hooked up and let's get going so eventually here i would like to get a dump truck and an excavator and then hopefully some other work tractors just something small something we can go to jobs with here we're going to be doing lots of landscaping and lots of mowing. That's kind of the plan there. So maybe a smaller dump truck if we can get our hands on one. And then some sort of an excavator. I don't know if we're going to go older or newer or just very small. We'll figure it out as we go. But we don't really have too big of a shop, so we can't really go too terribly big. By the way, this thing rolls coal like crazy. Anyway, we got about a 45-minute drive, so I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, here we are. You guys can see the mowers are actually right there. And here they are. So this one right here is a Pro-Z Cub Cadet 900 here. This thing only has, let me see, I think it had like eight hours on it or something. Yeah, basically brand new. Then we got a slightly older walker here with about 50 hours on it. So not too bad. All were kept in very good condition. Actually, they're pretty much the same color too. But we're going to load these things up here. And then we're going to take them back to the yard. And maybe if we end up getting a call here, we might uh, go do a quick job. But I'm hoping to either get a... Kubota or John Deere compact tractor here eventually let me know in the comments section what which one we should get because eventually here I will be getting one all right we'll fire this thing up here also I plan to get an employee I already have an employee lined up here so hopefully he'll be coming out here in the next few weeks and we can get him trained on all the different equipment I mean there's not much training to do here it's just you hop on a lawnmower and you run it but for some of the other equipment yeah we're gonna have to uh, get them all trained but I will have to pick up another company truck 
So I gotta figure out whether that's gonna be Ford, Dodge, Chevy, GMC. We'll figure it out as we go. But basically right now I've just been going to different dealerships and auctions, just getting all the equipment we need because we sold the last business that we had, which was a massive lawn care business and we moved. So we've got plenty of uh, plenty of free money to go there and spend. Well, not free, but we got plenty of money to go spend. Uh, no cap, no stop. I'm gonna go grab some lunch here. Uh, I wanted to go to McDonald's, but I don't really see a way to go around to get to the other side there. Um, can we go around here? Oh, I bet you we can. Yes, we can. Perfect. Now, the only question here is, can I take this whole setup through the drive-thru? Is there even a drive-thru here? There's gotta be. Can I take it through there? Is this a McDonald's without a drive-thru? Apparently. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just park here and uh, we'll go grab some McDonald's. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we got some food. So we should have energy to actually like get through the day. Now, if only I can figure out how to get going back the other way. You know, I could have just stopped and pulled over to the side of the road there and just walked across. That would have been much easier, but we could just go around here. Anyway, I'll see you guys back at the shop. Alrighty, we are back. So I'm just going to take this truck and trailer, pretty much put it right here. And we're going to go unload these two lawnmowers. Actually, you know what? We are going to leave the walker on there because I'm going to go use that for a job if we get called today. Open up our small door right here. And well, eventually here, I think the shop is going to get all filled up here with lots of different stuff. I'd like to get some toys too. Maybe a quad or something. That'd be nice. A jet ski though. A jet ski and a boat. That'd be perfect. All right, well, I got the mower all set here on the trailer. Now, we ha did have a call earlier this morning checking our rates for uh, mowing here. So hopefully we get the cow back and uh, we can go out there and do some mowing. Oh, hold on here. I'm getting a call. Hello. How's it going? Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's our rates on our website. Okay. Yeah, we'll be right down there. Okay. Bye. Well, that was a call from a person I least expected. Um, the Arby's manager. Yeah, uh, surprised me too. Apparently, their last client um, dropped out there for their mowing. So, they want us to come down there. They just found us on our website or whatever. We have that up there. And they want us to come mow their... I guess, Arby's restaurant lawn. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess we're going to go mow an Arby's. I mean, I can't complain. That's a pretty interesting first job, so we're going to get headed out there. We got a lawnmower. We don't need a weed whacker, though, which is great. It makes our job a whole lot easier, and uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, GPS says the place is right here, and yep, there it is. Well, okay, I guess, uh, where are we going to pull in here? Probably right into the parking lot, I guess. It doesn't look like too much of a big lawn. It's just kind of what's in their gates. So, yeah, I guess we'll uh, shut off the truck here, hold out the ramps, and we'll get going. No time like the present, I guess. All I can say is good thing we picked up lawnmowers today. Fire this up here. Let's go. Yeah, this won't take long at all. They said just um, just around their fence there. So, it'll be pretty fast. Or more around their, like, the, the hedge is kind of the fence there. Because you can't really mow through the hedge. So, yeah, it's kind of all they want. It's not going to be a big money-making job, but it's going to be a contract. It's going to be a yearly contract. So let's just say if we got the Tim Hortons contract, I mean, hey, I wouldn't be complaining. But, I mean, if we have other jobs down here and we got to go do some mowing, we swing by and get this job done right quick, it'll be easy money. Plus, we also charge the mileage, so we're about, like, 45 minutes away from them, same as the dealership. So, yeah, we charge them same, uh, same kind of distance there and... If we're already coming for one job, then I guess we can uh, get both. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking where I get my mods. A solid 90% of them are on Mod Network, and if they're not, then they're most likely private. So if you guys are looking for them, it's a trusted, virus-free site to get your mods. Anyway, I think we are almost done here. I'm just going around here making sure everything's good. Want to get as close to the hedges as we can. Oh, probably want to grab this right here. Get around the pole real nice. There we go. That's what I love about this mower that I can tell already. It's super nice for doing work like this. One pass with the other lawnmower, which is a quite a bit bigger than this one, actually. It does turn pretty sharp, but not as sharp as this, even though this one is a little bit longer, but uh, it seems to do a better job of turning. I guess they are technically both zero turns, so. All right, and that is the last of it. So let's shut this thing down here, and let's load it up. All right, there we go. Throw a strap down right there, and one right. Oh, come on, come on, come on, ah, come on. Okay, one right there. Perfect. Hold up the ramps, and we're out of here. Look, Arby's, I love mowing your lawn, but uh, I don't like your food, so see ya. All right, we are back. We made it back, surprisingly, with the uh, transmission of the comments. I already hear the comments. Oh, the transmission's gonna go. The transmission... No, it's a brand new transmission. So just, just, it, it'll keep driving just fine. 
Anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing so we can be Jake, a.k.a. The Formal Pickle, to 100K. Hopefully soon we can get our uh, new employee and then we can get doing a lot more jobs and a lot more equipment. Should be fun. Anyway, hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you all.